Technology has brought me all around the world. I want to provide access to computer science and comprehensive entrepreneurship education to students of color all across the United States and all across the world. Coding was my way of changing mine and my community's material reality. But it wasn't really the control, it was the sense of liberation that I felt. I felt free when I was coding. So GH Tech, let's go back to the beginning. At the age of 13, George Hostetter was invited to his first hackathon where he competed against Stanford master's students. A 13-year-old living in Oakland went to a hackathon. I'm George Hostetter, and this is Up to Code. He discovered technology and what he could do with tech tools. Could an app have saved Trayvon Martin? But I also want to be a civil rights activist, and I think if I can merge technology and civil rights, there's no way anyone can stop what could come. George shows no signs of slowing down. We're not supposed to comprehend the magic. We're lucky enough to feel it and acknowledge it and then tell other people how to recognize it. I want people to take away that they can do anything and if you can be yourself, you can be the world. To now be here in Atlanta where he's leading a lecture about using your voice to speak up against these injustices, the act of alchemy to turn this awful situation into something beautiful, we've been doing that for centuries. How do we start thinking about how do we use technology to impact some of our most pressing problems? So everything within our existence has got to do with satisfying the Western knowledge and perspective and demand. Hearing his story and how powerful it was, I was just shocked and uh, inspired by what he provided. Um, he was someone that made me captivated by who he was, why he was here. From a minority standpoint, we don't have the opportunity to see people like George excel in what they do that often. The magnitude of it was amazing. The strength and the, the power that he has from within that, uh, that drives him, this was very inspiring for all of us. We're all interconnected. As I travel, I feel like I'm learning the history of the world. So how do I translate the history of the world into my history?